Ah, remote working today. Uh, day four of this water fast. Um, I've told a few people, a few people that I'm doing a water fast, and a lot of people say, "Why the hell are you doing that? You know, you're so extreme with your diet. You, you know, you've gone sort of vegan over the last few years, and uh, and now you've gone on this fruitarian thing. You know, they call it a thing." Um, Oh, you're so extreme, aren't you? You know, you do all these extreme things. Now you're doing something incredibly extreme. You're doing a fast. I mean, what, what, you know, what is a water fast? What's the point of it? Um, and I, I, I thought about that a lot. Um, and really, it's only because I've been reading, reading up about fasting and and the benefits of it. You know, and, and as I've said before, I come from a really sort of abusive background of, of you know, over the years of. Yeah, self abuse with alcohol, um, some recreational drugs, um, smoking, and terrible diet. Which actually, I think food is probably one of the biggest diet, uh, one of the biggest drug problems we've got in the West. Um, it, it must it must kill as many people as all the other drugs put together, or much much more. I don't know all the stats and everything on that, but um, so. Yeah, so I've just got a really open mind to anything sort of different. And when I when I read some of the stuff about fasting, it just looked it looked to me I, I sort of got a bit stuck on 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 the um, on the the vegan not the vegan thing, but the, on the on the fruitarian thing on the eighty ten ten because I wasn't following it a hundred percent in the end. I'd sort of veered off towards rice and potatoes and things like that. Nothing, nothing, nothing fat. I've always kept the really low fat all the way through. I believe in high carbs and low fat, um, but just not really. Um, what is it? Just not not feeling great. Um, I know a lot of people say you know you got to the, the weight loss comes in time, but I've I've sort of been static with my weight for eight months and gained a few pounds here, and I I, I do exercise relatively a lot I mean I don't I don't, I'm not working um, but I you know I, I try to cycle I love cycling and I do loads of it and I try and go out every day if I can for at least an hour and a half um, although that's gone by the by a little bit in the in the last little while um, it is a bit weather dependent I tend to go out and do it anyway but um, some days it's just too grim when it's just absolutely peeing it down you can't get the enthusiasm you know and it's cold and you just can't get the I can't get the enthusiasm to get out and do it so anyway um, so when I read about this water fast business I just thought it would be um, so good to try and sort of reset the body now and um, get into a place where I can really reap all the, all the benefits of being a fruitarian um, and and so far the experience has been incredible because I just appreciate you know I, I could see all the goodness in all the in all the fruit and all the vegetables that I've been eating. I don't I think sometimes one can lose the the, the plot about how brilliant it is to eat that way. And I have had food craving. I mean I'm only on day four, as I said. I have had a lot of, of cravings. Um, but they're more, they're, they're more, the hunger has gone for the moment, but they're more emotional than anything else. And it's also, I don't know what to do with myself half the time. You know, it's, you get so used to the, the, the pattern of eating and looking forward to the next thing or getting the fruit and all this sort of stuff. Um, and without it, it's sort of, there's a huge emptiness. And, you know, life seems very different. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get lost with that. Um, Water, water, water. So yeah, I, the, the maybe my brain's losing the plot. Actually, just to say something else. Uh, talking about carbs, which we weren't talking about carbs, but um, I, I cycled again today. And I don't think I'll be able to do it for many more days because it was really difficult today. Um, I went out early this morning. had had a bad night's sleep last night. Um, read a lot in bed, was, woke up very early this morning, read again, um, 
and then decided, oh, I'll go and I'll go out for a ride. And did I struggle? The hills were just like killing the pain in the legs. You know, um, my my ride, which is only twenty miles, took a full eight or nine minutes longer than it has done when I've been on form, and and that's quite a lot over twenty miles. You know, and that just shows without carbs, you know, this is, this, I'm going, I, I, I suppose I'm in ketosis now. And, you know, that, that's what people who are, want to be on Atkins diet have all the time. So that we're what, lacking in energy and just crap. So, you know, carbs, carbs, carbs. I, I, I see where everything but coming from. Um, Anyway, going back to the going back to the fasting. So I was reading this book. I don't know if you could see that. Can you see that? Um, very, very good. It's um, this this guy called Joel Furman, and he's written this book, Fasting and Eating for Health. And I noticed there's a, a foreword by Neil Barnard, who um, is obviously very well thought of in the in the raw food world. And um, when I when I read this again, I oh know again I haven't read it. But when I read it, it just gives such a fantastic insight into the benefits of, of, of fasting. Um, and of course, every, you know, in here they emphasize the, the need to do it, you know, have a professional, you know, do it under supervision, all this. But there is nobody where I live in the UK here in, that, that will do it. You know, I, 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 I did text, not text, I emailed Doug Graham um, and asked him because I, I know that he's a resident in the UK a lot of the time. And I asked him if if there was anything in the UK or whether I could, you know, whether he would do something in the UK at some stage that I could do a fast with him because I'd really like to 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 do a fast with with him because I rate him so highly. And he very quickly got back to me and said that you know he wrote no, but if you come to Costa Rica and. And I just don't have the resources or, or the, I can't get my act together at the moment. Um, and financially it's hugely expensive, you know, and, and times are not that easy at the moment. So I've had to go it alone, you know, and I, I've done that by obtaining as much information as I can, um, by being what I hope is, um, you know, cautious before I started. I, I, I've, I've been on a very good diet in, <laughs> In comparison to a sort of a standard Western diet, I've been on a really good diet. If it, you know, even with the rice and stuff, it's been low fat and it's been mostly raw and it's been mostly fruit and vegetables. Um, in fact, it's been all fruit and vegetables, very little else. Um, you know, before, which led up to the thing, and I had all my blood work done. All the bloods were done a month or two ago, and they were all really good. I was so surprised. Because I haven't felt brilliant, you know, but some of that's emotional and, and other problems up there rather than physically. Um, and the other yeah, results were spectacular, you know, things like cholesterol levels so low and and um, just every even B12, you know, which I rarely take any B12 supplements, it was still okay, you know, it was still uh, way above. It was right in the centre of where it should be. I know it could be higher. In a lot of raw foodists say that. Um, your B12 should be very high, or a, a lot over the suggested one. But it was all, yeah, it was good, you know. So, um, and and that's, you know, I'm trying to be cautious with this, and and I'm listening to what's going on with with in my body, you know. And I'm, I, I do regular blood test, not blood tests, sorry, uh, blood pressures and things like that, and heart rates. So just keep an eye on it. And even when I'm cycling, I've got a Garmin on there. And instead of having it on like the normal screens I have it on, I've now got it on purely so I can monitor what's going on with my heart rate so that it doesn't go too high, you know, because it's, um, that's one thing that you tend to struggle with. I've, I've got that at the moment. My heart rate is up. And um, in bed, it's sort of like it pounds away. And normally my heart rate is so low. Resting heart rate is so low. It could be as low as 42 or something like that, which for, for me is good. Um, and then to have that, you know, in, be in bed, that bang, 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 bang. It's, like, it's quite scary, but it's, it's not bad. And blood pressure and um, heart rate were low, much lower this morning. I did it, so that's good. Um, yeah, it's turning into a bit of a waffle. This. Uh, 
I've got lots of other things to say, but maybe I'll say them another time. But it's going okay. You know, this is day four. I can't believe it's day four already, and I'm still, I'm still doing it. You know, whether I go the full term up to the 28 days that I've sort of set in my mind depends on, on several factors. You know, it depends on well, one of the main ones is, is it depends if suddenly I run into some sort of crisis. Not 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 an emotional crisis, but a, a crisis of, of. of getting ill, you know, if I, if I suddenly felt really ill or, or something untoward or, or if that hunger returned in a huge, in a different way, maybe, maybe it would be time to end it and I won't mess about with that, if there's any signs of that, um, I'll do it, but you know, I, being healthy is a good start and, and, and the breaking of it, that's what I'm, the breaking of the, or the refeeding at the end of the fast, I'm, that's what I'm reading, I'm reading this, I'm reading um, every article I could find on the on the on you know on the on the website on the on the internet, just to see, you know, and it's it's slow and it's fruit. You know, I'm halfway there just by being basically a fruitarian already because that's how you break the fast is by you know soft fruits and juices and all that. That won't be an issue to me at all. Um, combating the craving, you know. <laughs> probably won't be a good idea to sort of jump straight into a into a 15 banana smoothie even the, on the second day um, but it's just to be aware and to know what's going on and, and, and that I just if you think you're doing a fast um, you know don't don't do it if you if you if you're just doing it for a huge weight loss very quickly and you're just eating standard stuff at the moment and you don't intend to change your diet just don't do it because you're going to put yourself through so much stress and strain. Um, it's going to hurt you so much more coming straight off all that and doing a fast and then eating again, and all the results will just disappear anyway in a, in a, in a little while. So, yeah, just just do a bit of preparation first. Anyway, so that's my day four. Not too bad. Um, whether I get out again tomorrow and do any exercise, or whether I really should have a day where I just sort of don't do anything and just lie around and. and uh, and rest which is what it seems to say quite a lot of so hope you're all okay and uh, yeah I'll, I'll post another one up tomorrow now let's see if this thing will turn off okay bye